now that your reporting is sorted, you may need to make some plans for the rest of your day. But if you want to maybe delay those plans just for a few minutes, I'll quickly show you how to insert a refresh button on your dashboard so that you just have to hit that button for your pivot table and pivot chart to automatically refresh instead of you right clicking on the pivot table and then hitting refresh. We're going to record a macro for this. First, let's add our button in the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab, just right click anywhere on your ribbon and select customize the ribbon. Then on the right here, under main tabs, check developer and click OK. Now let's click on insert and click on the button you want. Then drag the button to the size you want and this prompt comes up. Let's name this macro to refresh all and click on OK and let's type in refresh. Let's format that. I'm going to bold it and make the text blue. Now we're going to record our refresh macro. But before we get to that, if you would like even more Power Query tips, tricks, and exclusive discounts to my upcoming courses, please be sure to subscribe to the Query Editor. It's my free weekly newsletter delving into all things Power Query. The link is in the description below. Now let's get back to our video. In the Data tab, click on Queries and Connections so that the Queries and Connections pane appears on the right. Now to record your macro, you can either go back to the Developer tab and click on Record Macro, or you can click on this little Record Macro at the bottom left here. I'll name it Refresh All and click on OK. And now our macro is recording. On the Queries and Connections pane, Let's click on this refresh icon and now let's stop recording our macro by clicking on the macro icon on the bottom left again. Then right click on the refresh button we created and click on assign macro. Let's click on refresh all macro and click OK. So now let's bring in September data into this workbook. Let's hit our refresh button and you can see our slice is updated with September. And if we hit September, our little dashboard automatically updates. And we can instantly see Sarah was our top salesperson for that month. And if we look on the right here at our queries and connections pane, our number of rows have increased by the number of rows for our September data. And remember to save your workbook as a macro enabled workbook. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and like this video. If you would like to check out more Power Query videos, please be sure to watch these videos here.